trick, it's called The Handkerchief Through Your Arm. I learned it originally from Mark Wilson's Complete Course of Magic, it's one of my favourite books and I'm going to show you guys here today. This is Catherine. Hi. <laughs> Would you please hold out your hand like so, excellent. I've got a silk handkerchief, what I'm going to do is wrap it into a nice long stream like this and place it behind your arm. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to simply tie it nice and tight and wrap another knot all the way around your arm and now we're going to make it pass right through your arm. If it works, you should see the knot still on the handkerchief. On the count of three, one, two, three, and it passes through your arm. The knot is still there, like yeah, I said. Yeah, there's the knot there. <laughs> Would you like to know how it's done? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. And why do you like to learn all, the, learn all these tricks? Okay, so uh, let me show the audience first how the trick's done, and we'll try it with you if we can. So. I am holding it a little bit special, I'm holding it between these two fingers. Okay. Um, it just means I've got a better grip on it in a moment's time. I do twirl it around, this is just to make it nice and tidy. In theory you can do it with a rope uh, or, a, or a scarf, but I found these silk handkerchiefs are just perfect for the, for the intricacies to make it work a bit better and smoother. So when you hold it in your hand, I'm going to place the handkerchief around her wrist like so. I'm then going to clip it between these two fingers of my, the, I'm holding it with my right hand, it goes between these two fingers, the left hand. I'm going to go inside the gap and grab this end, which is between my fingers, and pull, and my finger gets trapped in that, in that procedure. We'll go through it a few times. Now what happens is this end here goes around the wrist, and I simply tie a knot at the top. My finger is stayed there. I've never taken my finger out. Now, if I take my if I keep my finger there, that is locked and tied around the wrist. But as soon as I release my finger, it flies around and it releases. So we're going to go for that from the beginning again. Wrap it up. It goes between these two fingers of the left hand. I've got the right hand. It's got my uh, black wrist strap on it at the moment. It goes between those two fingers. I simply place it around her wrist. I clip it from the this right hand gets clipped from the left end. The pieces are crossed to each other. I reach through the gap of my right arm, grab the left end, and drag it through, keeping my finger there so that the handkerchief can't get through. Because my finger is trapped there, this is now secured around her wrist. I can go around again. Now it's important that I go around uh, away from her, away from me. Um, to the left because of the way that we tied this knot and I can tie, tie another knot on the top. You don't need to tie another knot on the top but I think it makes the illusion stronger because this is the knot that will appear in the handkerchief once it's passed through a wrist. Because in theory, logically, if this is tied into a knot, even though it passes through our arm, it should be a knot when it comes through it. Okay? Then all I need to do is pull on both ends at the same time and basically just take my finger out. At the moment I'm pinching it, so if I just take my finger out and pull, it creates that knot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to try this with you, and I know it's going to be a little bit awkward, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, firstly, take the handkerchief, hold it between two fingers, hold, wrap it, spin it around. Perfect, so we've got to use this arm for now. Okay, and literally take that end and place it between. I think it's that way, that way. So you've got these, the two pieces are away from each other. Finger goes in, grabs that end. And you pull it through, just keep your eye, do it slowly so you can keep your finger inside the knot. So just pull, pull, you'll feel it like getting tighter on the wrist. If you go back around and try and take those two ends and tie them together. It's a little bit awkward because we've got more on one side at the moment. But if you were to basically pull on the two ends and take your finger out at the same time. <laughs> There you go, it, it worked, it did happen, it just got, you, you basically need to go faster. <laughs> so one more time. It worked, it actually worked, it really did go through, it, yeah, it, it the effect did work. Uh, as I say, you just uh, it got caught, it got caught on something or maybe you just needed need to go fast enough. So, place between those two fingers, yep. Place my wrist in, that's it, away from each other here so they can see that one, that's right. In, grab that end. Keep a finger, that finger there, do you need to keep a note of? It's going to go... You've got a little bit tangled up here. Start again, start again, one more time. It's okay because the people at home will be having this problem as well. That's the reason we've got you here. Basically, so you can see what we're doing. And if you're making the same mistake, we're going to be here to fix it. That's the purpose of what we're doing at the moment. So there, goes in between. 
those fingers, that's it, and goes in. That's the finger that you're going to keep it there, keep it. And then it goes back around, tying out the top if you can, keeping your finger in place. And then as soon as you're ready to release your finger, just pull on those two ends at the same time. You had it, you had it. When I was doing this trick and I was practicing this trick, I was doing it on my leg, I was doing it on table, art, table legs. I'll do it one more time, put it in your hand. Just for the, for the very beginning. Again, it's clipped between those two fingers. I grab it and I, the main thing, just keep your hand up here. <laughs> okay. The main thing to do when practicing this is you want the ends to be the same length once you've done this move. So that you've got room to tie the knot up here. Because sometimes, if, the more you practice, the more you'll get to understand the length of the handkerchief. I find it easier if you twisted your finger towards their arm. Twisted to your finger. Well, at the moment, I've got it. It's pointing towards me, the finger. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You, 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 the technique is the same. However, you've got your finger, it always works. <laughs> uh, so you've got yours twisted towards your arm. So one more time, from the beginning. It's there, literally. I wrap it around the finger. I'm using my index finger, the, the middle finger, <laughs> wrapping around, and you're able to make that hanky pass through the arm. Enjoy it, it's a great trick, uh, and I've been doing it for years. It was one of the oldest tricks in my repertoire, and I'm sure you'll have fun with it as well. <laughs>